Well, that's just today's number. They started counting in the terms of the Thanksgiving travel since yesterday, and it will go through Monday. By that time, all in 900,000 approaching a million getting up there in terms of that passenger traffic. But it's actually busier here on the drives. They have more cruise passengers in the summer on a day like this. But today, it's all about driving through, and I'll have some tips through for you in a minute. But pretty much, unless you're picking up and dropping off, or you're going to get on a plane, you're going to be going through security. And I'm going to give you a unique perspective on what that looks like. For many of us, a trip to the four corners of the globe begins here at the main security checkpoint at SeaTac Airport. If your wait time is longer, feel free to keep sending. I'll let you know. Nick Leong is here to help. Hi, general screening today? Copy. No, I'm, uh, What's it like on the other side? Here, but I'm trying to get to uh, Premier. On which airline? United. Of the security line. Okay, you can go to premium on the left. For people whose job it is mm -hmm. to get us through what most of us consider the worst part of the flying experience. Clear? Clear, yes. Yes, they're next to premium by Starbucks. Just take a left. Where passengers always swear it just seems to get longer. We pick somebody from the end and we time them, see how long it takes to get through. Gotcha. When the wait times hit 15 minutes, um, that's when we start making calls to our duty managers and to TSA and that's, um, we're trying to avoid at all costs having the lines go over 30 minutes. But before that even happens, when they get slammed, they will stop the line and bring in the dogs. So usually at 15, they'll make calls to TSA and see if we can bring the K-9 in or if they have staff for that. She's what they call a pathfinder, the follow me type of person who gets you to where you need to go. Even if this is full, it's usually not even a 15 minute wait. Maybe. When she's not functioning as a human clock. So consider these numbers. In 2012, 33 million passengers went through SeaTac. By the end of this year, that number is going to be closer to 49 million. And in 2018 alone, that's up another 6%. For the growing airport, the dogs are a godsend. When Fido's nose says you're okay, you can keep your shoes on, clear the scanner faster, and guess what? The weights are cut in half, and that line quickly dwindles to a trickle. Security for all flights, general screening. Just enter here to my left. Now here's the tip on dealing with the traffic out here tonight. This is from the airport. Things are going to get real busy because a lot of flights, longer distance flights like coast to coast flights will start showing up here around 8, 9, 10 o'clock tonight. We've been out here before. It is a complete zoo. So here's the suggestion. Yeah, driving up to the point where the drive split in terms of arrivals down here, or departures up there. The airport says go to departures. That's really light duty. Down here, most people want to be here on arrivals, so they think that's what you're supposed to do. They're picking up arriving passengers. So think opposite, and then flip that around. If you're going to be dropping somebody off on Sunday morning, drop them off down here. Remember, everything connects up on the inside of the airport, and allow yourself plenty of time. Live at SeaTac, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.